Welcome back to Wolf Guitars and Gear, where we help you get fat tones from a skinny wallet. Today, we're going to talk about strats. And, uh, you know, for a long time, I've been pretty outspoken online forums and whatnot about how much I don't like strats. Uh, what it is that I don't like about them, for me, is, you know, they can sound really nice and really pretty by themselves, but when you start playing with a band, I find that all it gives me is the very high-end frequencies that get lost in the mix. It doesn't have anywhere near enough mids, so it just doesn't have any useful frequencies for me uh, to cut through. And part of that's just because I've spent so many years being a humbucker player. I've been a Les Paul guy for so long, I'm, but I started off playing a Strat. That was my first uh, electric that I bought myself. And so some people would say that maybe I don't like single coils, but that's not, not the case because I love tellies. They're one of my favorite styles. I have a Jazzmaster. I absolutely love that. I've got P90s in my gold top. Again, those are all single coils. Love them. Uh, so it's not that I don't like single coils. It's just There's just something about the way that the, the Strat was set up that it just always sounds so thin and hollow to me. And so I've set out to change that. Uh, you know, what a lot of folks have done in order to change that is uh, sometimes they'll put a, a bridge in their humbucker or a uh, bridge humbucker in their guitar to try to, to fatten up the sound that way. Some of them uh, will use a tube screamer with the gain off, uh, kind of like uh, Stevie Ray used to do to try to fatten it up. I know John Mayer is another one that kind of uses it that way. But all those situations, they're either trying to change the strat from what it is, from being a strat, or they're trying to use something artificially to boost up the mids because it doesn't have enough to begin with. So that's the fundamental problem to me with, with strats. Besides the tuning stability with the trim, besides some of the other things uh, that other people complain about that to me are small stuff like bumping the switch or the, the volume knob with your hand when you're playing, to me that's never really been the issue. It's more sonically the that it lacks the mids that I really need for it to to have any kind of authority in in the sound and it also because of that lack of mids doesn't really play with my amps or with gain in the way that I want uh, you know I'm used to being able to uh, be very dynamic with my playing to to dig in to, to push an amp a little harder when I play harder but with the Strat it's just so clean it doesn't even begin to break up at all when you dig in it does nothing it's just and so I wind up having to use like three or four times as much gain as I would with really any other guitar to do the same thing. And it, and it even then it doesn't do it well because it goes from nothing to too much. And it just it's just hard to find that sweet spot where it's nice and dynamic and you get that, that edge of breakup like you do with other guitars. So uh, as you noticed, I've got this Strat here and it's got a black pick guard, but it came from the factory with this white pick guard. And one of the things that I found even using this is that by lowering the pickups, I was able to get a better sound. These things are almost flush with the pickguard, as you can see. And so that was one thing that I was able to do that really helped uh, the sound. However, what I've done here, the reason I switched to this black uh, pickguard is because I've taken it on myself to do something that I've wanted to do for quite some time, and that is to wind my own pickups. And so I wound this set of pickups. Uh, these are for my company that I'm launching called Big Sky Tone Works. It's going to be pickups. And my whole goal with this is not to just be another pickup company. There's a bunch of pickup companies out there. A lot of them are doing great things and they serve needs. You know, for people who want the classic pickups that are out there, you know, the classic Tele, the classic Strat, everything else, there's a million companies that do that. I'm not looking to do that. So I had a very specific problem in mind that I was trying to fix with the Strat when I designed these. I wanted something that was gonna be warmer, fatter, a little bit higher output, but still maintain the good aspects of a Strat. And so I've done that using some sneaky little secrets that I'm not going to disclose as far as how these are actually constructed. 
Uh, and so let's just go and take a little back-to-back -back sound test here and see if I accomplished my goal of making something warmer, fatter, more full sounding because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the same piece before I changed with the stock pickups and and then I'll play the same piece with this black one and you can tell just from the pick guard color which one I'm using and I'll run through all five positions and then I'll do a quick little cheesy thing at the end with a little bit of overdrive so you can hear how it reacts that way as well so let's give it a listen
So tell me, what did you think? Did you like that? Did you feel like that was an improvement? For me, I feel like I did accomplish my goal. Um, I think that there may be some more tweaks uh, that I may do to this particular design uh, to refine it just a little bit. And uh, I may even offer a couple different versions of this uh, in the future. But I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what I'm cooking up with and give you a little sound sample of the very first set of pickups that I wound as Big Sky Toneworks. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell. I'd really appreciate it if you went onto Facebook and on Instagram and looked up Big Sky Toneworks and followed my page there so that you can be the first one to know when I start releasing these for purchase for you to add them to your guitar. Because my whole goal here is that I wanna create tone that you're going to like, that's something that's going to help you get the best out of your guitar and the best out of your playing. Thanks for tuning in.